Great partnerships often begin with something simple. At Calvin Grove State College, a connection with the local hospital began with an idea and a conversation. From there, the partnership grew into a collaborative relationship that not only benefits the students involved in the program, but also industry staff and the local community as a whole. Schools intentionally collaborate and use a cycle of inquiry to purposefully and deliberately design, implement and review new approaches to aspects of their work. Here at the college, we are constantly reviewing um, the student opportunities and student pathways for their futures. We're constantly looking at what partnerships we can develop within our community to provide students with an interface into a career in their local community. The Health Highway program is part of um, our prep to pathways focus. Within the Health Highways program, there are so many there are so many layers. So they have their own engineering works on site at Royal Brisbane Hospital as an example. They have all their own tradesmen. They have the care and clinical support and they have just the day-to-day -day hospitality um, and ward services. So there's a, a whole range of employment opportunities for our students two kilometres from where they go to currently go to school. We connected every section head in the department with every faculty head in the college and they have then um, gone on to explore what is possible. I think the idea of this partnership had been going round in circles for a few years and everyone agreed it was a fabulous idea. Um, we decided to just go for it and really link together Royal Brisbane Hospital staff with Kelvin Grove team members and try to find some like links within the curriculum and the care that we provide for patients. And from there, the outcomes very early on, um, I must say, have been um, quite delightful and, and quite surprising in a lot of ways. The Health Simulation Centre here uh, gives us an opportunity to work with industry professionals and work at industry standard levels. So the students can work with trainers, actual industry experts that have come from the hospital and they can really develop their skill set. The thing I enjoy most about the Health Hub will be the practical side about making the beds, learning how to do first aid, bandage, all that kind of stuff that you probably wouldn't learn by just doing theory. It's good to have that practical side. We get to learn how to make beds, do hospital corners, which is actually a very fun thing to learn. It's very tricky to master. Um, we have learnt how to do CPR on babies and adults using our CPR dummies and working with a simulator uh, defibrillator machine. We're providing a talent pipeline whereby we're um, providing confident and competent young people who can enter the industry and perform in the world of work. When I graduate, I'm going to go to university just to get that experience, do my three year degree in emergency paediatric is the area I want to do. And then after a couple of years thinking of specialising in midwifery. I hope to become a cardiothoracic surgeon or a paediatric surgeon. This is a big rock for us um, because the, the scope for it to, uh, to grow and and provide pathways for our students is huge. The other um, benefit of the partnership is the impact those specialists have in classrooms where they come and talk to students and give them real world contexts about, so this is how this subject applies to working at Royal Brisbane Hospital. Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital staff get to understand the sophistication of a 21st century student. The outcomes have been significant and profound. Uh, they've had a massive impact on the, the students and the teachers in those spaces and I think we will see that ripple through and inform student subject choice. I guess the expected outcomes that we thought would happen are happening, which is the students being supported in their classrooms with industry experts, some real life stories, some experiences, the teachers gaining opportunistic professional development opportunity and upskilling within currency of industries. For us, there's initiatives that have started that will improve the patient experience of the people that visit us for their care. 
hospital is a big business and that business includes obviously um, finance, it includes hospitality, it includes engineering. So the initiatives have actually branched right out into all of the different support services that get placed around caring for people. And so we have students from hospitality here at Kelvin Grove talking to the the massive kitchens that pump out thousands of meals a day and looking at what that looks like for the students to have some experience there. We have engineering students looking at coming for some traineeship opportunities and we have some um, business students that are experiencing our business professionals, finance professionals, legal professionals coming to the school here to contribute to their classroom education. The challenges are always around um, interfacing with industry because the best programs are those that are industry demand driven. So building those relationships and partnerships is, is always a challenge, but once they're made and the relationships are strong, it's so rewarding and valuable. It, it is around persistence, it is around um, authentic commitment, and it is around investment and finding or giving your staff time to do this properly and for what it costs you as an investment initially, you will get back tenfold if it's done properly. Our just cause is to nurture globally competent learners, leaders and citizens. If we don't explore the opportunities and possibilities for our students outside of Queensland, outside of Australia, then we're not authentically preparing our students with global competence. When teams collaborate to deliberately evaluate, plan, implement and measure programs that are relevant to their school context, it not only helps schools to sharpen the focus towards strategic goals, but also encourages shared ownership and leadership of programs that they deliver, significantly impacting on learning outcomes. When collaboration extends to partners in the local community, this becomes even more powerful as the impact is visible beyond the school gates. When we reflect on existing partnerships and develop approaches to suit the local context, this strengthens effective and meaningful pathways planning and leads to improved student outcomes. For example, you may wish to consider, how is your school building connections and strengthening partnerships with industry and training providers in the local community? How can your school work collaboratively with industry to provide students with enterprise skills and real-world experiences in growing job clusters. The department's Intentional Collaboration website provides guidance and resources for schools to analyse some of the ways they make changes to their practice and how to link those decisions and actions to a cycle of inquiry. The inquiry planning template highlights the changes that educators constantly and intuitively make in their practice and provides a structure for thinking more systematically about the questions and data they use to inform their work.